This is an analysis of the 2014 blockbuster film X-Men Days of Future Past. In one scene, the character of Quicksilver, or Pietro Maximoff, uses his superhuman speed to save the X-Men in a round kitchen. Rather than slow down time, Quicksilver moves at extremely high speeds. In this clip, we'll be looking at two things, speed and force. To determine Quicksilver's speed, we'll have to use the speed of the police's bullets. Now, the movie takes place in Washington, D.C. in 1973. The United States Service Pistol in 1973 was the M1911A1, but it's clear that the creators of Days of Future Past ignore this information as the police are actually wielding the M1917 revolver. The M1917 revolver has a muzzle velocity, or how fast the bullet travels, of 760 feet per second. That's 231 meters per second. To find the velocity in Quicksilver's frame of reference, we'll use this shot with limited camera movement. The bullet length is approximately 22.8 millimeters long, and when 1.5 seconds has elapsed, the bullet has traveled about 3.3 lengths of itself. Therefore, 3.3 lengths times 22.8 millimeters is 75.24 millimeters, or 0.07524 meters. Then, plugging these numbers into the speed formula, to Quicksilver, the bullet travels at approximately 0.05016 meters per second. Comparing this speed with the true speed of a bullet coming out of the M1917 revolver, Quicksilver's frame of reference is approximately 4,619 times faster than that of a non-mutant. When Quicksilver hits the hat off the police officer's head, the hat travels about 12 centimeters and one-tenth of a second. Therefore, using speed equals distance over time, 12 centimeters over one-tenth of a second would be 120 centimeters per second, or 1.2 meters per second. Multiplying this initial velocity by around 4,619 times speed, the hat would travel off the man's head at around 5,542 meters per second. This is about 12,398 miles per hour. That'd be enough speed to break the sound barrier 16 times over. Now we'll see how hard the security guard gets poked in the face. Quicksilver's finger moves to poke him in the face at approximately 9 centimeters in about one tenth of a second. That means he's moving at 90 centimeters per second or 0.9 meters per second. Using Pietro's frame of reference, his finger is truly traveling at about 4,157.1 meters per second or 9,300 miles per hour. Based on that he moves his finger over a two-fifths second span, we can plug in these variables to VF equals VI plus AT to get 10,392.8 meters per second squared as his acceleration. Next, we must determine the mass of his forearm. The average male forearm and hand is approximately 2.52% of total body weight. If we assume Pietro is 68 kilograms or 150 pounds, this is about 1.7136 kilograms. Using F equals MA, he applies 17,809.1 kilograms times meters per second squared, also known as the Newton. This is approximately the bite force of a 19-foot great white shark. Of course, Quicksilver does it with a single poke. These numbers depend on a constant rate of change in Quicksilver's frame of reference. If he is able to slow down between the 1 times speed and 4,619 times speed, then the numbers would vary. But assuming that Quicksilver stays at the same rate throughout, the numbers are accurate. This has been an analysis of X-Men Days of Thank you for watching.